Hi, welcome back to The Real Shell Fox. It's been a long time, and I'm here to talk about an update on my divorce and how fun divorces are. All those times I went, well, not all those times, but I did go on a few dates and with some guys that were divorced, and they were like, oh, I don't want to get married again, and I was like, how sad. Well, now I know why, and the answer is paperwork. The second answer is finances. The third answer is what a pain. Okay, look, it's pretty easy to get married unless you're gonna have one of those like Cinderella ball weddings, All right? I mean, the planning, the invitations, even for a small wedding, it's a little something something for sure. But for the most part, you know, you pay a couple hundred bucks, you get the license, the two of you show up, like there's a lot of ways to do it. You can spend a couple hundred, you can spend 20 grand, you know, you can do it. Divorces is difficult. You know, the first thing is you got to pay that $435 filing fee at the time of this recording. And from that moment, it takes at least six months. Now, if you want to file for separation, it's also about the same cost. And then you would also pay again for the divorce, right? So you might as well just jump to it. If you're already filing for separation, you're probably... It's probably looking bad, right? <laughs> Anyways, so in the beginning, he was like, let's just go to the court and do it together. And I wish I had, I wish I had listened to him, but I didn't appreciate the like seven day turnaround in general. And my lawyer friend, she was like, you know, it's COVID, just give it a minute, you know, before you guys make like a big rash decision. I'm like, okay. So he and I were pretty friendly for the most part. Friendly, you know, it was a mickable separation. So I didn't think it was going to be an issue. Then he moved to Paraguay. And that is a whole nother like ball of wax. Or as I like to call it, ball. You can't serve people by mail to that country. And some countries have something called like a Hague Convention or the Hague Treaty that makes it a little bit easier, but it's actually not easy at all. If you want, you can Google it. But Paraguay doesn't even offer that. So he has to be served in person some kind of way, which he's not super open to that for whatever reason. You know, he's got some paranoia about that, which is just gonna make things much harder, much more expensive. Now we tried to do this on our own. I tried to do it on my own. I did the filing on my own. I went to LA court. I had some Zoom meetings with them. And they keep telling me something different each time. So what I have figured out is you cannot do it alone. You cannot do it alone. We don't even have kids. We're not fighting over money. We're not fighting over property. We're not fighting over dogs. We're not fighting over anything. And you still have to go through a gazillion steps. You know, you have to provide to each other you two years of taxes and like four months of your most recent pay stubs and your property and your credit card debt and your car loans and like just everything about your situation and your current situation, not at the time of separation. So that's interesting, you know, and like it's basically a spreadsheet that you fill out. Look, Google it, FL150, FL160, LA courts. It's, I'm telling you. Now, I'm, I thought for sure my marriage was going to last because, you know, I got married not like with my 20-year-old dreams. You know, I had some real women, womanhood experience. Um, I was wrong about that. And, you know, they do. They have a 50%, more than 50% actually, uh, divorce rate in general. So, and like we're friendly-ish. Well, sometimes I get emails from him like this. My lawyer says you have 48 hours to respond or legal action required. You know, like there's, no, I don't think he has a lawyer because if he had a lawyer, the lawyer would reach out to me. Now I have since gotten a lawyer because this is too hard to do on your own. In fact, I wish I could sue the court for giving me all this misinformation. They told me just serve him the papers, and if he doesn't respond, you can move forward. That's not true. He absolutely has to acknowledge that he received the papers, which he's doing right now. He's apparently he has sent me the mail acknowledging the form, right? I hope I hope he dotted the I's and the T's because, according to my lawyer, the court is very very picky, and they are very careful because a lot of people lie or they do a whole bunch of tricky 
things and the court doesn't feel like doing it twice. So a whole lot of like curveballs. The clerks don't know everything. You know, they kind of look at it, they hustle you out. They don't want to answer your questions. Um, you know, I mean, it's not like they should be the ones giving you legal advice, but they have like a self-help center that's always closed. And uh, the self-help center, I don't recommend. I don't recommend the LA branch of self-help. <laughs> so yeah, my lawyer, the retainer was like 3,500 bucks and I'm not too happy about it. And it might end up to cost more. There's a minimal possibility it will cost less, but I doubt it. So yeah, kids, divorce is fun. It's super fun, you know, but hey, would I get married again? Yeah, I would. But the like the right person and the right situation, I would. I would. But you know, there would be have to a lot of things would have to be in place, you know, like a whole lot of agreements and what the legal if it you know, I would plan for the end. Now when I was younger, I was like, that's so unromantic, prenuptials and planning for the end. Why get married if you're planning for the end? You know, well look. If you don't think the end is coming, sign the forms, right? So, you know, like, it's to protect you and the other person. I mean, if you love each other, don't you want to protect each other, right? Or you could, like in my case, I think I'll just be cool with possibly a life partner that's not all up in my mix all the time and I'm not all up in their mix. I think that would be all right. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye.